what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to your channel. And for today's video, we are building upon the rumor mill of the next Call of Duty. Uh, if you guys watched my video, I don't even, I don't remember how long ago it was. I mentioned there were some rumors about the next Call of Duty potentially being another World War II. There were some recent rumors that uh, support that rumor. Recent rumors to support that rumor. Um, that we're going to talk about in today's video, the potential of uh, the setting, the storyline, some stuff like that. Uh, I got teased in an article. As always, I will link it in the description below if you guys want to read it as well. And uh, yeah, I don't really have to explain much here. Let's go ahead and get started, ladies and gentlemen. Alrighty, guys. So building upon my last video, if you guys watched that, all essentially the only uh, leak or rumor that came from that video was that it was supposed to be another World War II-esque game. Uh, the title wasn't given away or anything like that. The play style, you know, what would be in the game, if it would be integrated in Warzone, um, you know, if it was actually going to be another like World War II era COD. Uh, essentially, all it was was that it was going to be a World War II style game. Uh, in the recent article that was published, I think Charlie Intel tweeted it, and, and I think it was Modern Warfare or like Warzone or something like that also tweeted it. Uh, they mentioned that the next working title for call of duty is world war ii vanguard uh they said that it was it might be like a placeholder or it could be the the official title no one's actually sure obviously we're extremely early stages still usually may is where we start to figure out the next title that's when you know things are teased and uh the, the studio starts to release their their info this is the longest wait ever by the way um so world war ii vanguard is the working title for now again obviously subject to change all the stuff that uh is in the article is Dude, I can't get over how good this Craig looks. Um, but I think uh, the, if you guys read the article for yourselves, obviously, I think the coolest thing that I got from it was that they're taking, uh, potentially, obviously, taking their own like spin on if World War II didn't end in 1945, if that makes sense. Like, I think they're trying to, to expand on a narrative that like, if World War II didn't end, like what would happen? Like creating, not a fantasy world, but you know, like a, a dystopia. Where's my, what did my, two of my teammates over here? Uh, like a dystopian kind of thing, which I think is super sick. I think that's a, a really awesome idea. I think uh, Call of Duty is always, or not always, but mostly th uh, flourish whenever, you know, creative, uh, creative ideas can be expanded upon. Like, all the black ops titles obviously um those aren't set on any like real events or anything other than cold war obviously but you know yeah you guys get what i'm trying to say um so i think that uh expanding on a potentially fictitious idea is pretty cool i think that uh obviously that that leads a lot of creative direction for the studios to take and you know do what they want with that i think that's always pretty sick and then obviously uh, i think everyone has kind of guessed it by now but it is sledgehammer's turn to develop call of duty they are up in this cycle oh let me do this. hello guys um they are up next in the call of duty life cycle so it is on sledgehammer to uh to hit it out of the park hopefully they do because obviously i enjoy world war ii i say it every video you guys don't need to hear me ramble on yet again um so you know hats off uh, let's see let's see if sledgehammer can make a banger game that's all i'm hoping for man i don't care i don't care what's in the game i don't care if it's the graphics suck as long as the game is good competitively i don't the maps are good you know i'm, I'm very easy to please when it comes to stuff like that so i'm praying hoping hoping and praying at this point and then i think the, the thing that's actually it, it's sad to say but i think the most important thing about call of duty now is warzone so i think there's going to be uh warzone integration i think that's all but guaranteed at this point this is the slowest that this is the, the what the fuck did i just pick up that's the slowest tundra i've ever used in my life um i think that it's, it's all but guaranteed at this point that warzone is going to be in every single call of duty i think it's just you know the integration into warzone is way too important for the the genre or not the genre but the title as a whole i think that every game needs to have warzone integration to be successful i think that it's one of the most important things to have in call of duty at this point just you know free to play br that everyone loves so i think that's uh, all but given so that is always good oh don't kill you bastards and then obviously i mentioned it as the video was starting but the title is world war ii vanguard uh again i have no idea what vanguard means i don't know if it's like a mission or you know what it may be it, because the title gives you no hints whatsoever obviously cold war is going to be about cold war and black ops is continuing to be black ops world war ii is you know world war ii so I don't know what Vanguard can mean. I don't know what, what where they're going with it. But again, if if they're taking creative, uh, creative, what's what's the what's the what's the word I'm looking for here? Creative, ah, uh, uh, you know, if they're if uh, the studio's taking creative freedom on that, then you know, hats off to them. They can come up with their own title. They can do whatever the hell they want, right? Oh, you are just not killing me. Oh, you can stand here. I did not know that. Oh, this is funny here. I, oh, why am I flashed? 
shooting at ghosts, dude. I'm shooting at ghosts. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. You know, are you excited for a uh, World War II style game? Obviously, you know, I think, uh, I think the, again, I mentioned it, but I think the coolest thing about this entire announcement is the potential for this to be, um, it's just completely cre a creatively free game, if that makes sense. You know, they're just doing what they want to do, similar to a Black Ops. And I think when a studio has creative freedom, that's when the best things come out of it. You know, they don't have to follow a certain narrative that their game is, you know, a World War II game. They don't have to, you know, con confide within the, the constructions of society, if you will. They can do whatever they want and make the best game that they possibly can. So I'm pretty hyped for it if you guys are, uh, if, if you've been being honest here. Y'all okay, need to die. Like, y'all, okay. This is just so difficult for no reason. Can you... Okay, I can't even see this guy, bro. You know, obviously, as uh, more and more leaks come out and, more, and uh, you know, we're getting closer to May, like I said. And May is usually when, not betas, but like the, the gameplay is shown and showcased and all that good stuff. So hopefully, Sledgehammer's got something to show us. They're, they're doing something that would, you know, it's coming up soon. Obviously, if there's, if there's any news on the new title, you know, here with him, I'm the first place to go. Okay, he just did not want to live. I'm the first place to go, guys. I pro oh, RC car. Um, you know, I love, I love making rumor style videos. Obviously, it's Call of Duty related. Everyone loves Call of Duty. So it's very easy to make videos and stuff like this because I'm excited for it. So again, if you guys are interested in this Kyle, uh, this style of video, rather, uh, be sure to let me know in the comments because again, this is uh, one of my favorite styles of video to make because I get excited for cool stuff like that. No, stop dying, man. Yo, my teammates are destroying these people i don't have to do it i'm 30 i didn't even realize i'm 30 and 6 i'm just rambling about the new title i'm 30 and 6 i don't know what's going on i don't know where people are spawning i we're just shitting on these guys holy i hear you i heard this guy i don't know where he went that's awkward no one up here though hello goodbye oh yeah war machine yeah. goodbye oh and coop oh no more Oh, where's all the people? Hey, all you people. Hey, all you people. Won't you listen to me? Sorry, SpongeBob ramp. Dude, thank you. Sheesh. Victory is close. close. What the hell? I thought this game just started. Oh, uh, I did not want to do this. This is not, this is not what I wanted to do. Okay, well, we got to defend myself. Okay. Okay, what the hell? I'm playing against fucking Superman over here. Yes, sir. Okay, maybe I did one. Okay, maybe no. I take it back. Maybe the VTOL was the right play here. Maybe I'm a genius inadvertently with in crazy game sense, and I just had to do it. Okay, yeah, no, I'm, never mind. I take it back. I'm a fucking. I'm a genius. Ignore me, YouTube. Yeah, shoot me down. Shoot me down. I dare you. Okay, wait. I'm at, okay. This is the best VTOL I've ever had. This is the best. This is the best VTOL I've ever I've ever had in my entire life. I take it all back. I'm sorry for slandering you, VTOL. This is nuts. No! Wait, I just got like 20 kills with that. That's insane. What the? Oh, the game's literally over. No! Well, boys, I hope you enjoyed the video for today. I know I sure did. I I know I sure did enjoy making it. Oh, running to me. Oh, you're getting pre-fired. Don't mind me, guys. Just coming through over here. Okay, there you guys going this way. We're all going this way. We don't know what we don't know what's going on. I'm gonna climb up here and kill you. Ooh, should I assassinate this guy? No. Oh, he turned around anyway. Well, guys, there you go. World War II Vanguard is up next, potentially. 58 and six. If you guys enjoyed the video, as always, be sure to leave a like, comment, some future video suggestions, and you know, you guys know me. I might, I might do them. Who, who knows? And as always. Thank you guys so much for watching.